What's going on guys? Adam here with E-Trailer. Today we have a overlanding teardrop trailer and what we're going to be taking a look at is the suspension. So with overlanding trailers, you never really know where you're going to go. So with the axle suspension, we're going to get about four inches of lift. Timberin makes it and it's going to be kind of the best way to get off grid without having to lose any ground clearance or anything like that. With the axle suspension, it's gonna give us a lot of lift. And the cool thing about this system, so there's a lot of different 2,000 pound axle suspension kits that we have here at E-Trailer, but the one we grabbed is the most beefiest of all of them. The, way, the reason why I say that is there's two different kinds. One's gonna be allowed to have about 2,000 pound brake systems, but we went one step up. So this system is going to be able to use 3,500 pound brake systems. So if we're out in Colorado, there's a lot of hills and stuff, you want to make sure you have enough brakes to get it to stop so your brakes don't overheat. And that's just not really the best. So it's going to be good on your vehicle brakes. And also these brakes are going to last a little bit longer. And also with the spindles, they're a little bit longer. So we can get a big beefy tire in there. You saw on the other side how big the tire was so just to give you an idea like it's a small trailer very small trailer that's what teardrops are for very compact but look at this tire so with this setup with the HDs we are going to be able to get these big beefy tires on there so we can go pretty much wherever we want to since we did go with the beefier set we're not affecting our ride quality just because this still is a 2,000 pound axle set and our trailer is 2,000 pounds. So what that really means is if we were to go to with the 3,500 pound axle suspension system, these little bumpers right here, that's our suspension basically. Those would be a little bit too thick, but since this is still a 2,000 pound axle kit, it's just the beefiest one, this isn't gonna be too stiff and we're not gonna have a poor riding experience. So it's not gonna be sitting there kind of just hopping on the road behind your vehicle. When installing this, all you really need to do is kind of just figure out where your axle is already. If you're starting from scratch, basically just go from where your wheel wells are. We want to have the spindle in the middle. And then we are going to have to drill holes through our frame. And the hardware is included, so figure out where your axle goes. Drill those holes, measure twice, drill once, and then just go ahead and install it. Here's the other side of our bolts. So they're perfect size. We just drill the hole, put it through and then put a washer and nylon lock nut on there. And again, that's included, but this little bar right here is not included with the kit, so we added this separately. And what this bar is really gonna do whenever we're on uneven terrain, it's just gonna link these two tires together so the whole trailer doesn't flex as much. Every trailer is gonna flex, but if we can limit that, and especially with an axle suspension, you really wanna have this bar. All you have to do is go to your local hardware store and grab a two inch by two inch square tube, make sure it's steel, and you're gonna have to weld it into the sides over there, so make sure you have somebody who can do that. But this is kind of something you wanna do while you're installing it, because if they're already installed, we really want them to go all the way through the whole entire suspension system, so you really wanna put that bar on, lift it up, hold it up there with like a jack like this, and then drill them through and then you can go ahead and weld it in once it's all connected but kind of all needs to happen at the same time and whenever you're welding this you can really use whatever you can use a mig a tig or even just a simple stick welder will do the job one's going to be prettier than the other but not a lot of people are going to see it so all you really want to do is just make sure it's nice and strong there's a lot of benefits to an axle suspension. One, we don't have to figure out what length axle that we need for the trailer. So if you're building a custom trailer and it's not necessarily the industry standard, or if you just have a smaller one like this, or if you just don't really wanna do those measurements and you wanna reap the benefits of the axle suspension, we're gonna get bigger tires on here if you go with the HD, and we are gonna get a lot more ground clearance. Another thing, it's a lot quieter than a normal axle, just because there's a lot less components spinning around, so it's gonna be a little bit quieter of a ride. So if you're building something like this, or if you just have some little enclosed trailer or a utility trailer, you could do it for any of your trailers. Just make sure you grab the right kit, and we have a lot of kits on our website for you guys to choose from. So this is our rig, that's what we use, and I hope this helped.